We've made good time on our journey to Alba Island and we'll have six nights in the well-protected anchorage of Porto Ferraio before we need to collect visitors from northern Corsica. We use this time to get some chores done, reprovision the boat and collect an online order of things that we need to service the engine. Simple things like this become more complex living on a boat, but we enjoy the challenge. But first... We're just in the old port of uh, Porto Ferraio. Porto Ferraio, I think. Porto Ferraio. Um, and I've made the classic yachting mistake. I have come to shore without my shoes. Uh, walking in the footsteps of Napoleon. Little footsteps they may be, but... Well, they're very little steps, aren't they? Yes. Um, he was exiled here for 10 months. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a residence up the top here, which is his winter residence. And he did a lot for, to develop the community here, and he laid out the roads and did a lot of building here, even though he wasn't here for very long. Hence the little steps. I think we're able to get to these places where so few tourists go. Laundry day, uh, so we're just heading into town to find a laundry mat, and uh, I think we need a little bit of petrol for Bob as well. He doesn't use much, but um, just got a little five litre tank we need to fill up. Mm. So, as a cruising sailor, this is one of the challenges that we have quite often, which is where to tie up the dinghy. Um, some part of me says that the town should provide a dinghy uh, dock for the cruisers because we bring money into the town, but of course, unless there's going to be direct probably revenue off using that dock, that probably is not going to happen. So. Um, this one is a, a um, recommendation off Navali. <laughs> it's quite a, quite a unique one, isn't it, honey? The ground is covered in broken beer bottle glass. Yeah. And uh, this is the exit. <clears throat> so it says, head to the building without a roof. Uh -oh. Go down the side. Have they locked it? Yeah. Uh -oh. No. Yes? Let's try this down the side of the other one. Right, take two. Um, 
somebody's locked the other gate that we were used a couple of days ago. But uh, just as we were getting back to the dinghy, found some people that had used this one. So successful visit to town. Uh, a package uh, from the online tannery, SVB, washing done, petrol done. And a cafe latte. Mm. Pastry. And a couple of pastries in six year, uh, six year old morning. Yes. Again. With all our jobs done, we relax and enjoy the sunset. Little did we know that we'd be raised from our bed at midnight with a thunderstorm that brings 40 knots of winds, rain and lightning. Richard has to make a quick dash outside to recover our new solar panels that are lying on the foredeck. Not even time to get dressed. That must have been quite a sight for our close neighbours as the lightning illuminated everything in the anchorage. Today we're off to Bastia in northern Corsica to pick up my brother Peter and his wife Sue. They're coming on a ferry from Marseille and arrive in the morning. We're lucky that we've got some good weather to go to Corsica today. We can anchor in the bay overnight, pick them up in the morning before returning to Porto Ferraio. We have the code zero up and are blasting along at nearly 10 knots until we get into the lee of the hills at the western end of Elba Island. Here we're visited by a curious dolphin who checks us out before returning to its pod, which is feeding about 500 metres away. The wind returns and we make good progress to Corsica. Say something? You want to say something? Yeah, avoid the fairies. <laughs> <laughs> so they... Uh, they come out pretty quick and um, they're probably at least doing 10 knots when they're just leaving port. So uh, They also seem to be very determined to go on their routes so you just want to stay out of their way. Though they're very, very good at letting you know if they think you're in your way. <laughs> We've had to do a little bit of research and we learn what all the different um, sequences of horns mean. As we've watched the ferries come in and out, giving their blast of the horn to anyone who they think might be in their way.